right, so somebody had an accident, as you can see, on a bike we're rebuilding. I decided to go the eBay route. I've got a couple of uh, stock bags, assemblies, complete lids. I think one of them is over there. I've, I've just got more parts. But I decided to go eBay. I want to get the newer ones that open differently. Uh, this is an unboxing. As you can see, it's already unboxed because it's not an unboxing. Here they are. Look like crap right now because they're they're covered. They actually they protect these pretty well. These are already painted, I think, vivid black. Uh, I went that route, the painted route, because if I decide to put these on my road glide, it's big blue, big blue pearl. I can uh, skip a step on the tri coat. So let's talk about these. I am going to set up the tripod. And I'll be right back. Here we go. Just a quick install of these uh, saddlebags. Nothing special to see here. Did this on the video that's in the link. Uh, just re reusing some of this footage to show the process of the bike going back together. Thanks for watching. Let's spend a couple of hours on the Road King today. First thing I want to do is put these risers on. Show you a little trick about that. That way you don't mess them up. So put them down, get them uh, snug, hand tight. Then take your bars, put your bars in, get them clamped down. Then you want to cinch them down good and tight on the bottom. That is my trick for those, that way you don't have to do it twice. Or it doesn't make them all funky. So, and on these FLH type vehicles. Yeah, you can tell I'm not prepared to make this video, but we're gonna do it anyway. You can get to You can get to it from the bottom without having to take all this side stuff apart. Anyway, that's my goal for this clip. I'll probably put the tank back on. I already got the bags on. I made a separate video about the bags and where I got those from. I will. Um, I will put a clip of that in there and the time lapse of me putting those on there. They actually fought me a little bit, but they're still good. I like them. Let's see what else. Handlebars. I might go ahead and repin the uh, wire harnesses. Put them back together. And I'm gonna order some uh, loom off of uh, wirecare.com to make it a little pretty because I'm not running them through the handlebars. I'm just gonna zip tie them to the outside like they used to be back in the day. Yep, here we go. Somewhere in this video, I'm not sure at what point, I realized I had the wrong handlebars. Uh, they still fit, the dimensions are, are proper and everything, just the knurls were the knurls that the risers clamped to were different so it made me think I had the knurls backwards which um, or the risers backwards left and right which I didn't but I put them in a spot where they would clamp down the most so I had to do a little modification to the chrome cover later on which I forget to mention all right see the footprint on the knurls so I am going to swap these risers around so that the edges a little bit on that so we got about the even distance here as we do there and you can see where I swap them around so this has got more meat so there is a left and a right anyway more meat on the normal normal part so I put them on wrong the first time that's why you always do a mock-up and you usually do a couple of mock-ups you'll come back later with Loctite 
and get these clocks and get them set right, sit on the bike, see how I like it. Anyway, that is a handlebar riser install. So now, we will work on um, probably put the crash bar on and do the um, grips and switches. Ooh, grips. Go get... Alright, got a little bit more. Hey, I said already, and imagine that. Got a little bit more work done today. So we definitely got the bars on like I wanted. And I don't feel like replacing the lever, so I just round it down and make it look a little pretty. Tomorrow I'll get the dot five and bleed the brakes. We got these grips on, which was a pain in the butt because the powder coating on the grips and the powder coating on the bars are so thick it didn't want to go on all the way so and this one didn't want to go on at all we had to sand down a lot of the powder coating uh, to make it work but from here to there and here to there just the same and part of the fluid service I am taking out whatever brake fluid may have been in here because i don't know dot five is factory for well actually i don't know what these controls came off of but the lid said dot five on it either way i'm doing away with dot five because dot five is a pain in the ass i'm gonna put dot four in it but i'm gonna flush the system clean it out that way there's no mixing whatsoever i'm gonna do it with the clutch as well We are in the mid 60s today in Savannah, this February, whatever day it may be, which means it's gonna rain because it's super moist out. Anywho, I'm trying to talk. So, I did not do a time lapse, we had a bunch of things going on with the shop. We uh, got a new table in, new used table, new to us table. Um, I got controls where I want them. I've got to take the throttle grip back off and put one of the little brass pieces on because I lost it and then I found it and then finish putting the pins back on put that together I'll loom it later put the headlight on that way we can actually go for a real test drive I did all the brake fluids and clutch fluids and stuff last but I didn't get a due chance to do a time lapse because we just got busy here we go the right hand side switches are done. Got them repinned, put in there, wrapped up nice and tight. My loom has not came in yet because uh, I'm creating an account with a vendor. Anyway, so I got it wrapped up with electric tape. Time to do the left hand side switches, which are these gray Deutsch connectors. We'll do that now. And then we'll, boys and girls, it's about 90% back together.
train when I'm filming. Anyway, one test rip around the uh, neighborhood. Run. And let me tell you, it is a ripper. That there is no doubt. But I've got a event to go to at the local Harley shop, chili cook off type thing. So I'm gonna take the road glide so I can put some more miles on this one and check everything. I just don't have enough time today. But I think, other than a couple little cosmetic things, mechanically, it is done. I'll do a full service uh, spark plugs, full change, primary change, trans change, all that stuff come up soon as well. Super happy how that thing came out. All right, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm not redoing it. So hopefully the crane wasn't too, too terribly loud. Oh, look, Arch. Oh, all right, have a good one. Thanks.